Welcome to part one of a series on removing the door from the LAN. In this video, what I'm going to show you is how to remove the glass. Uh, you don't need to remove the glass to remove the door. However, because I'm painting the car, I'm removing the glass since the glass needs to come out in order to get to the weather strip. So, nothing else to say here. Like, share, subscribe, all of that stuff, and let's get started. The first thing to do is to remove the interior door card. I have another video on that, so go go check that up. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do about this is to remove this uh, piece here, which will give us a little bit of access to the door or the inner bits of the glass. So let's get going with that. The next thing that I do is to go back to the battery compartment and actually plug the battery because we're gonna need to move this window up and down a bit and then we need to use the motor for it. The next thing to look at after plugging in the battery is to align the mirror, the, the glass, so that you can get and remove the stop bobbins from it. So one of the stop bobbins you can access from behind this grommet here. So you just pull the grommet out, keep it in a safe place and you need to raise the glass uh, in a way that it will align with the stop bobbin. So now that I can access the stop bobbin from here, I just need to reach it and make sure that nothing is sliding from the back. And just undoing that screw and trying not to let it round itself. Uh -oh. So here what I'm doing is changing from a posi drive head to a Phillips head because I feel that that screw is rounding. With a bit of luck, a Phillips head will actually grip better and stop the rounding. It worked! And here's the stop bobbin. And here is the slightly rounded bolt, so this needs to be replaced. Now for those of you wondering, this is a posi drive. And this is a Phillips bit. As you can see, there's ridges on the posi drive that don't exist on the Phillips. And uh, if you look here, there's no indentations for the posi drive to fit in. So even though a uh, posi drive most of the time fits, it's not perfect and it can round it. This is an example of a Phillips, uh, of a posi drive uh, nut. And you can see the difference in those little ridges on the side. It's tiny, but it's enough to actually make some things uh, grip or not. So, what I'm trying to explain with this is that knowing the difference actually pays dividends, as you just saw in this stop bobbin. The second stop bobbin can be accessed behind the uh, speaker assembly. And uh, again, you just need to raise the glass enough to actually get access to it and then just remove it. The next thing to do is to remove these two strips here from the top. Um, it's a bit annoying but they're actually in the way of the slider pins that come with the glass. So the glass is held into with three uh, sliding pins, one here behind this, which is in this rail. There's another one that you can see here, which is the one where the motor pulls it up, 
and another one over there that goes between here and here and you can see the top of the rail there the issue is that this particular um, rail here will stop and hit the this bracket here so I'm gonna have to remove this bracket out of here in order to get to the rail so the next thing to do is to remove all of these fasteners along here and as you can see we have a glass in the way so lowering the glass now comes in handy and then we can get easier access to all of these fasteners Now, depending on your luck, you may be able to just remove all of the strips in one go, but the chances are a bit low because the bottom strip is actually supposed to be riveted into the, into the door frame and then the top strip is supposed to screw onto the bottom strip. But it appears that in my case, the bottom strip is not riveted. Although you can see the holes that don't match between the two strips. So that way you can clearly see that there's more holes in the bottom strip than there are in the top strip. And that's because you're supposed to rivet here, screw in there and uh, screw in there and then rivet in there. And then, uh, yeah, screw in there, another rivet there and so on. So if you find that your bottom strip is riveted, your bottom strip is riveted uh, you gotta just drill those rivets out and put new rivets back in in theory right now I should be able to remove this glass by just unplugging the butterfly clip from there and uh, gently pushing it upwards I am not 100% sure if that works or not so I will only show you this if it needs to be after this attempt so roll in the fast forward So this is the clip, as you can see it's in two pieces, but as long as this part still clips you can reuse it, and that's what I do. So now I'm pulling the window out of the clip, and up from there, and now the window, uh, you may be able to see here. Hopefully you can see here that uh, the glass was had a hole that was going in through the clip. So I pull out and upwards. And now it sits on top of the clip. Now this is the moment where you gotta be careful because the, the glass may slip and slide down and cut your hand in half. So I'm just being very careful here. So attempt number one at removing the glass, this is with the Hitler brush b brushes on this place, uh, they're located here, I may need to remove them, and the stop bobbins are here and here, which I've not removed yet, so let's see if the glass comes out. So attempt one failed and the reason attempt one failed it's because of this sliding pin here. The sliding pin is actually catching onto the plastic or onto the fiberglass. Uh, I'll show you. With that in mind, I'm going to loosen up this bolt and just give it a bit of wiggle room to come out. So let's go for attempt number two at removing the glass.
it's a little bit of a fiddle, but it does come out. I guess that's a video on how to remove the glass from the door of the Elan. The next video I'm going to record is how to remove the weather strip, which should be a trivial task now that the glass is out. And if you like the content of my channel, do the share, like, subscribe and all of that stuff that everyone begs in YouTube. And I'll see you next time.